Murray live in Goodrich asking the tough questions. Rachel. Thanks, David and Colette. Yeah, I'm standing in one of those neighborhoods that could be affected if that rezoning, uh, those changes are approved today. Now, take a look behind me. You can see that neighbors are upset because behind their houses, they have other houses and a lot of uh, forest and grass and trees, and that could all change. It could turn from that into big business. I just don't understand how our city can take on the burden of a development this huge with such little taxes being paid? How are they getting away with that? Maria Calverly wants answers. She lives in a quiet neighborhood in Goodrich, which could possibly start to look a little different if one developer gets its way. That developer is M&B Construction. They are proposing to turn this residential area into a senior living center. And one community member asked our board Name one reason why this is good for our community. One. And they waited, and there was no response. And she said, thank you very much. You just gave me my answer. Calverly and many others are pushing back, saying that the senior living complex will be for low-income seniors. They are begging the city not to change the current zoning, which would stop any commercial space from going in. Uh, low-income housing um, sometimes bring low-character people. Low-character people have low-character behaviors. Um, this just is not what their paperwork or their city ordinance allows them to do. Residents tell us the new development would get extreme tax breaks and they think that would end up falling on the people that live in this community. So TV5 went to work to ask the tough questions. We wanted to know why the developer was trying to change the landscape, even though so many people were against it. However, they haven't returned our calls. Calverly believes if the development goes through, it will lower home values and her peace of mind. How are the seniors supposed to cross the road? How are they supposed to even cross the road to get to the church that they keep talking about? And there is no grocery store. The Dollar General in our town is not a grocery store.